Hey guys, welcome to Ali Love Creative, and today we're talking about some really cool camera bags and cases that I use for my productions moving forward. If you haven't, make sure you hit the bell so you can stay notified when we post new videos. Cue the intro. Now I got this idea originally from a awesome YouTuber and filmmaker and photographer, Chris Franklin. He's got an awesome channel on YouTube. He basically broke down all these hard cases and camera bags he uses on his productions. And I was like, word? these cases are sick. So a lot of the cases that he talked about in his in his video, I actually decided to go buy for myself. And I have to say, thank you, brother. These are amazing. Now, why would you need a camera case or a camera bag for your productions? For me, it's all about organization. It's all about protecting my gear. I just recently got the Canon C70 and I rent this camera out on a regular basis and I don't want to give them the camera and just be like, here, here it is. Just, just hand them the camera with no bag, without no protective foam and nothing like that. So I think if you have equipment that you want to rent out or just take to productions, you should start investing in having good storage for that equipment. So one of the cases that I found out about is the Apache hard case. Um, that Harbor Freight sells online. I love these hard cases. These hard cases, I bought one, then I bought another, then I bought another, then I bought another, and I'm probably gonna buy some more. I think these cases are the dream for filmmakers. Now comparing my Apache case to the Pelican equivalent, the Apache 4800 is about 50 bucks and the Pelican uh, case that's on the same level is about 250. So you are saving a considerable amount of money by switching to Apache cases. And I think quality wise, they are on the same level in my opinion. Now the cases I have at the moment are my Apache 4800. I use this for my Canon C70. It has enough space for my Canon C70, the you know full frame mount batteries, the charger, the top handle, um, and also the memory card. So it's a great all around case that fits a lot. One thing I love about these cases is they have inserts already inside them that you basically just pull apart to fit the gear. Like you just pull, you just like pluck it. They make it real easy. So you're just gonna like pluck and fit anything you need in this case. And it's also a lot of fun. I don't know, it's kind of like therapeutic for me. I don't, I don't know. I, I got a lot of problems and I have to find joy in things. Now the next case I have from Apache is the 3800. I got it in beige. I mean, look at the color. I love it. I got one in green, olive green, which is my favorite color. And I have one in beige. These are like my favorite colors. Um, and I love this case. I use this case for my lenses. I plan on putting more Sigma lenses in this case. I love this case. I love the fact that if I'm renting out my lenses on ShareGrid or another site like that, I can give them a hard case of all the Sigma lenses and I have everything labeled and um, everything's organized and I am just a big fan of this. I also have another 3800 Apache case. I use it for all my audio equipment. It's basically audio kit that I rent out. It's a great size for, you know, the microphone, the Zoom H4n, some cables. It's not the most organized, I have to say, out of all my cases, but I love the fact that I can just give this to a person who wants to rent my audio stuff. Another case I got recently is is for my Canon R6 that I just picked up. Um, I love this new case. I got the 2800. I thought it was gonna be too small. And if you're trying to, you know, put a, have a case where you can put lenses and your camera, you might wanna go with the 3800. But for me, I just wanted a case for the camera and maybe a few batteries and a RF to EF mount because I use that all the time. And I just wanted something simple so that if I rent the Canon R6 out, I can just give them this. And then if they want some lenses, I can give them the other hard case with the lenses in it. And it's just a real good case. And I'm a big fan of this one as well. Now I've seen a lot of YouTubers talk about this camera bag from Venta Supply Company. I think the camera bag looks amazing. It's like the Louis Vuitton of camera bags in my opinion. It's stylish. Um, it's very, very eye catching. Like people are gonna look at you and be like, wow, you." you're fashionable and you're a photographer. I love this camera bag. I think it looks great. It's also in my favorite color, which is olive green. Um, it's on the smaller side. If you are looking for something that's gonna fit a lot of gear, which I was not, I have bigger camera bags if I need that. My kind of philosophy when it comes to traveling, when you're doing something for non-work is have one bag and try to find a bag that's smaller that you can fit the 
you know, the bare necessities in. So you're not bringing so much gear that you end up, you know, your back hurts and you're just lugging around all this gear. So I think the Venta Supply Company bag is obviously on the smaller side, but it has these really cool inserts that you can put all your gear in. I love how it's stylish and compact. It also is very resistant. Like, so if you left it in the snow or left it in the rain, I think it would really survive really well. It's just a high quality bag. And I think this is a great bag for photographers or videographers if you want something stylish and also useful. And finally, last but not least, one of my favorite bags, I actually have this little Adidas, this little Adidas basically messenger bag. I love bags like this for production. Now I had one from Moment, but I think I had a little too belly, too much belly for that one. And it was a little too tight on me. I think Moment was making stuff for a little bit more uh, slender dudes. But I love a messenger bag. I think they're great for productions. Why would you use one? For me, when I'm shooting something run and gun, or even on set, I like having all the little tools and accessories on me. It's almost like a utility belt for me as a photographer or a videographer. So let's break down some stuff that I like to have in this bag. I like to have like a air blower, um, lens cleaner, uh, a lens cloth. We have green tape, and I also have some red electrical tape. These are great if you are um, on the fly and you need to swap batteries or swap memory cards, you can put green tape on the batteries that are good to go. Um, on the memory cards that are good to go and you can put red tape on the batteries or memory cards that are need, need of offloading or the batteries that are dead. So having something like that is really cool. Another thing I put in here that I bring on every shoot is this little filmmaking tool. It's from Small Rig. It's really, really cool. It basically has all of the things that you would need as a filmmaker, um, a little like screwdriver. It's got this little flat thing that you can use if you're gonna put your camera on a tripod, stuff like that. I cannot downplay how important this tool or a tool similar like this is when you're running and gunning or if you're just shooting something and you're low on time or short on time. Now that's all I have to say about the camera hard cases I've been using and camera bags I've been using. If you have any questions about anything that I talked about in this video, hit me up in the comments below and I will see you next time. See you later.